<clears throat> All right, driver's side, next gen mirror. Uh, if you get your fingers under this corner here of the mirror, like so, hold it and just firmly pull up. You'll be able to disconnect the heater element and that one there's your blind spot monitoring um, illumination thing in my boggity. Uh, now, if you use a T10 Torx bit, you find these screws here, they've got little pink marks on them, so they've been quality tested or uh, means they've been touched, torqued up in the factory. Uh, we also need to try and get in behind in here, get this grey cover off whatever colour it is on your car. This is a wild track, so it's grey. Sport will be grey. XLT will be colour coded. So. And then if you just shove him off like that. It's a bit hard, I'm filming on an iPhone, sorry. That's all I got. But it's just clipped on. Pull them off. Like so. Put him aside, you don't need that. That cover there comes off. Put him aside. Now, <clears throat> if you look, right there is a screw. If you actually come right down through the back here, it's been hard to see on camera, there is another screw down, down in there. Um, so you grab a long extension with your T10 again. the camera now if you just uh, on the, here on this aquary colored thing you'll just see the little uh, electrical clip if you push down on that you'll be able to remove the camera put that aside now these tabs here hold the camera in if you just Pull them to the side. That'll uh, release the camera. Clearview provide you with these. This one has R on it somewhere. RH right end, and that mount there has R on it as well. Yeah, the way you do this, you'll see that. This can only go on the plug one way because this little um, raised section and whatnot. So if you put him, sorry, like that, your plug will actually fit on it. That's why that's elongated so your plug can sit down on it. If you do it the other way, or like that, you won't actually be able to get the plug on and your camera will be the wrong way around. So you put him in, you can only go in one way here. Like so. They provide you with some small stainless screws. You'll see that this is elongated. That would be my guess to why Ford so it needs to be calibrated. And if you just set it in the middle, like I've done for the past week or so with my next gen that I've done, it will, uh, I've not had a drama. Oops. No fault codes, no camera blur. No warnings, my cameras match up front to rear perfectly fine. So I'll just 
put him in, snug him down nice and tight. Not too tight, he's only plastic. Uh, on the passenger side, you'll find um, uh, the outside ambient temp sensor uh, sits in here. You, same thing, it's just you pop it out and uh, slide it into your new one. There you go, that's the PC. You will just slide it out of there. That's off the passenger window. And slide it into this new one on the um, on the passenger side and plug it all in. So I'll grab my... This is the mirror. Search around, try and find the cable. Oh, I'm looking for the other one, it's not there. Uh, so as you'll see, you can only plug this in one way, like so. And then you'll see a uh, camera facing outward. So you, these bigger sections here, there's big and short ones. Big ones go into there, like so. And now you just push down. Now go put your mirror back on and enjoy.